Hello, welcome to Python for Academics. Uh, in this video, we're going to solve another exercise in using list comprehensions to generate a LaTeX table. In this exercise, we're going to generate a LaTeX table that looks like this, where the headers are actually stored in rows. So I'm going to create a list comprehension that generates uh, these labels for each row in the uh, in the table. Now, in order to create a table like this in LaTeX, we are going to need to generate the following text code. Uh, so you can see that this text code follows this format that we first have uh, the equation uh, format for this m underscore number. Then we have a column, and then we have a name of some custom user defined variable. Uh, now, my variables are stored in this predefined list. I have five different variables. In the next video, we're going to solve an exercise where these variable names are imported from an external, uh, much larger uh, file. So we're going to go ahead and create a list comprehension that prints this text code for us. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to create a list that stores strings uh, that have this uh, this row labels. So m underscore number, column, and then a variable name. So we're going to start by creating a template uh, for my list. We're going to first loop over uh, each variable in this variable names uh, list. So I'm going to write i for i in a range from zero to whatever the length of that variable names list is. So this creates a list of five integers from zero to four. Now the place where the numbers are printed uh, in this text code is over here where we have m underscore number. So we're going to turn this integer uh, into a string and we're also going to have to add one to that number so that the numbers go from one to five instead of from zero to four. Now to the left of that, uh, of that number, we're going to print dollar m underscore and to the right of that number, we're going to print um, dollar, column, and a space. So now uh, my list has uh, five strings that have this format of this first tag uh, in the row. I'm going to go ahead and add the variable name. And I'm going to draw um, the uh, appropriate name from that list. Uh, given by the index. <clears throat> and now we get almost what we need. So we have a list of five elements that have this uh, format of, of the row header. Now I'm going to use the join function to connect all of these elements in the list by whatever uh, user specified character <clears throat> that we would like. So again, if I uh, connects all of these elements uh, of a list uh, within a space, then I get something that looks like this, where I get spaces connecting each uh, string element. Now, because in this exercise, we're going to have to create new lines uh, after every row of the table, I'm actually going to wrap all of that code uh, with the print statement so that when we uh, write the new line character, uh, we actually get uh, that printed. So now the joining uh, set of characters is going to be this common uh, uh, this common command that has um, that is composed of a space and space uh, double backslashes and then the mid rule command. So I'm going to go ahead and write that uh, here. Now for the, the backslash is a special character in Python, so I'm actually going to have to add an extra backslash. Uh, to tell Python to actually print the backslash character. And I'm going to, s to give the command mid rule. And now after every uh, connection that it makes between um, these uh, strings in the list, I'm going to print a new line. 
So now we get almost what we want uh, to have for this last row in the table. I'm actually going to uh, input that string manually. Um, so I'm going to write uh, space uh, and space uh, double backslashes and then the bottom row. So now I can copy that uh, code and paste it into my LaTeX table if I compile. Uh, this latex code, then I get the table um, that we wanted to obtain. Now, if you also wanted to leave more white space uh, after this uh, column separator end, you could do that by uh, adding some extra uh, special characters in Python, for example, the tab character uh, over here and also over here. Um, so that's going to just leave you a little bit extra white space for you to input uh, some values uh, in the table later. In the next video, I'm going to show you an example where we have many more rows that are created from a custom uh, user specified file. See you in the next videos.